here we are back once again YouTube and this is Warden 1103 playing Dead Frontier and uh, yeah sorry about the ending on that last video I didn't realize that I had uh, continued to record even though I had come back into the outpost uh, normally I would stop and then start recording again in order to avoid that black screen <clears throat> um, okay but we are under attack right now so it ought to be very easy to get experience once we walk outside take a sip of coffee here <sighs> good coffee Gavalia house blend so we are going to oh I wanted to check real quick and just see how much armor is um, I know sports armor is typically really cheap <clears throat> uh, green sports armor a thousand bucks so yeah I think I want to save my money because chances are pretty good that whenever we start expanding our region of looting that we're gonna find a sports armor I find sports armors all the time with warden so um, I think it's gonna be fairly easy to get one and I'm not gonna waste money on it this time <clears throat> so let's go back and let's go ahead and go outside and we will make a trip down the road and kill a few zombies along our way now I will say outpost attacks down here aren't really all that much fun unless you have a chainsaw if you have a chainsaw the outpost attack down here is just like you're just dancing around just parts are flying off of zombies and it's amazing and I love it so <clears throat> um, yeah whenever I get a chainsaw we'll probably do an outpost attack or two and we're going to walk because I want to actually encounter some zombies. We won't wait on him though. <clears throat> uh, we could go inside of a building. Well, no, we'll wait until we get further out before we'll go inside buildings. <clears throat> but yes, now that we're going to be expanding our range, now is the time to definitely start looking for some type of armor. Um, that doesn't necessarily require a lot of strength. <clears throat> Even though you would think this guy's an athlete, so he should have a little bit more strength than what he does. Maybe they should have like did 20 to his agility and an extra 5 to strength or something. Or just an additional 5 to strength. Nice. But, say la vie. Whatever. Edmund knows what he's doing. I guess he couldn't make it too easy for him. I guess this guy's like all cardio. <laughs> Although I will say his movement now is very reminiscent of um, Warden. Because, yeah, that. What am I at? Like 90 agility already? And, uh, man, he moves a lot like him. Uh, although he doesn't have the endurance, so his energy. Well, no. He doesn't seem like it goes down that much slower. Well, I was going to say, uh, he doesn't have endurance, so his agility, or his, um, energy goes down faster, but it, it doesn't seem like it's that noticeable of a difference. I guess maybe that's tied to agility also. I thought endurance had a little bit to do with that, but it's not. <clears throat> doesn't seem like it now that I re-evaluate it. So we're already well over halfway to our next level, 10 points over half, and uh, doing good so far. So I haven't even had to take any health stuff yet. I got plenty of food on me. Um, but as I get further and further out, I'm going to have to probably end up keeping more food on me because the higher level you are, the less food in this area does to replenish your nourishment. So I'm going to keep a few extra now, like maybe four or five, uh, because pretty soon I'm going to start making trips to Dog's Stockade. Um, and that's a pretty good trip. For a low level guy, below level 15, that's a very good trip. Um, <clears throat> I'll go up there just to be able to kill maybe some red zombies. Once I get my shovel, I'll go up there just to kill some red zombies. 
um, because as you go out this direction, um, it just takes so long to get to um, the burnt zombies and the sirens and all the other good monsters that we all know and love. <coughs> So diagonal is actually the way you want to go once you start getting into this area because diagonal will get you to the darker zones faster while not eating up as much nourishment. <clears throat> Just going straight in the direction like I'm doing right this second, um, it's going to be a while before I get to red people. Zombies. <clears throat> and the loot is not all that great. The second. It's like candy and junk. What's the deal? Oop. Yeah, we're gonna kill you. Yeah, yeah. I believe he's killing. Next. <clears throat> okay, well, I'm probably gonna like cut out a little bit and then, uh, or speed up and bring everybody back in whenever something interesting happens. So if I do that, it will be right here. now. <laughs> got a horde after me. Yeah, they won't last long though. Assuming I can keep away from them. dead body. Leave me alone. Okay, done with that. Oh, that's just wrong. That's messed up. Okay, there's gotta be something good in the van. Come on, give me something good. <laughs> I think admin needs to find, or put in like a rare find called the Petal Bear. <laughs> and in like vans just like that. <laughs> you need to find like a random, just like a, a huge stuffed teddy bear <laughs> with the eerie black eyes like the petal bear has. Oh yeah, that would be great. Admin should seriously consider taking my advice. That's what I have to say. No, you know what? I'm going to keep going that direction until I hit 100% EXP. And then I'm going to kill my way back to the that's what I'm going to do. And by that time, I should have almost two levels. And who knows, maybe I'll like find a shovel or something. <clears throat> Good coffee. Okay, now, uh, let you know a little something else that I found out just by accident one time. Is that now, the looting, if you are looting an object 
and you have or you want whatever it is that you're going to get from that project like this Williams PPK here um, if you go to another object and try to loot it and you get something else or actually I think it's for whether you loot it or not um, <clears throat> whenever you go back to the one that had the stuff you wanted after changing your inventory it will not be the same thing I've had that happen to me more than once so just so everybody knows don't try and loot stuff after you found something that you wanted clear out a space in your inventory click done uh, well lovely and I will be right okay and luckily yes the last thing you looted whenever you have to restart the browser will be there for you to pick up in case it crashed if you had to do something like I just did. So, you don't have to reload the body, which that helps a little bit. Um, yeah. And the body is relootable since it's recharged. Hey, I wonder if you can get two water PPKs like that. Let's try it. Sh no. Okay. Well, it was worth a try. <laughs> So we got 5% more experience to go, and we should be pretty close to red territory by now, I would think. Unfortunately, I don't have a GPS unit to track this particular person, character, alternate, whatever you want to call him. <clears throat> on Warden, I can go to the drlp.net website and I can punch him in the profiler and I can use that website on my tablet as a GPS tracking device for my guy. So it keeps it pretty much real time. It, uh, it updates every like, I guess 10 or 15 seconds, something like that. And um, <clears throat> it gives a pretty accurate location of where my guy is. So that way I at least know if I'm going in the right direction without having to go to my map, which alerts zombies. So that's nice to have that. Uh, occasionally I'll have it on the screen, but I find that it pulls a lot of juice. Um, not from my computer, per se, but from, like, my RAM. Because <laughs> this, uh, this computer's not exactly the newest, greatest computer on the market, so I don't have just tons of RAM to spare, and that GPS thing does pull quite a bit of bandwidth and all that. Not to mention, we don't have the best internet here either. <clears throat> we don't have, really have the best anything. No, I don't think so. so I'm going to go south now, since I have 100% XP. Killing my way south, I will go over one area and go all the way to the edge of it and then north to the top screen and then I'll go home. So, that should do fairly well I think. <clears throat> and that'll leave plenty of time that should I need nourishment or something I'll be able to go into my inventory, take up nourishment and there should be plenty on the way back to fill up my inventory. Pistols aren't exactly my best choice, um, though they do have a little bit more knockback, I think. I think that's right. They have more knockback than rifles. I think the thought there is that rifles are supposed to go straight through enemies, whereas pistols would have more force on impact. <clears throat> Especially if you're using hollow points. Indeed. Um, <clears throat> but I like rifles more because they 
tend to have their clips. <clears throat> but we'll go with pistols with this guy. And the knockback may come in handy over time. As long as I can get the uh, uh, reloading up. Okay. Rosy car here. This is gonna be rosy colored after I get them splattering their blood all over it. Hey. <clears throat> well, this seems they like backed me away from the car, so I guess not. Actually clear all these zombies, then uh, this ought to be another level right here. Because uh, a lot of these are the fat zombies, and they're worth a little extra, just because they're harder to kill. Off. Okay, so now I'm going to go north on this one, and then go the rest of the way to the outpost. So not much longer be much longer. But I think we will definitely have a solid two levels by the time we get back if I continue on my current path. 125% XP every kill. This should go pretty quick. Aha! So, spontaneous cheer erupts from around the base camp. Whilst a significant number of soldiers lost their lives, only a few handful of civilians were killed. Yeah, and the zombie population is a whole lot less. Well, that is if they didn't respawn all the time. But yeah, anyway. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> I helped out a little bit. That little extra EXP bonus probably did a little bit of good anyway. Man, it's quiet around here. I guess that's what happens whenever you play on single player. Okay, so here is my official suggestion to admin, uh, Mr. Yates. This is what you officially need to do, is you need to put the old mission boards, remember like in the old 2D Dead Frontier, that um, you could pick from several different missions, and have the board start out with just one mission. That's whenever you first start the game, you start out with one mission. Then you add a mission to the mission board every like six hours, every eight hours, maybe even every 12 hours or something like that. But then that way, so people could literally go through the missions and actually read the storyline because I don't get to do all the missions because of, you know, things I'm working on and stuff like that. So it would be better, I think, if you maybe let the missions rack up and then we go to a mission board to be able to execute the missions. <clears throat> and that way we can pick which ones we like. Because I'm pretty sure I would be picking extermination missions all the time. Okay, and here we are once again. We are leveled up. And that was only one level. 
<sighs> huh. Well. So I guess those missions really do help out a lot. So anyway. <laughs> well. Okay. So agility is going to be maxed out. And melee is going to be way up there. Done. Messages, food and medical requirements. You've noticed that healing items you're using up to this point become less effective. As you become stronger and advanced levels, you'll need to use more proper healing items, eat more nutritious foods. <coughs> hmm. Sorry about that. If you are a mouse over, no, if you mouse over a healing item or food, you will be able to see that item's healing and nutrition level. You know, I. It seems like I've seen this before, but I don't remember actually reading this. Although I knew that that's what happened, obviously. Because, uh, like with Warden, he can only eat, like, level 50 plus stuff <laughs> to, like, give him anything. So I'm, like, eating fresh vegetables, raw meat, all that good stuff. Uh, okay, so we are still looking good health wise, though we're probably in, like, the 80s. I'm guessing right now, maybe high 70s, and then uh, at 75 this will turn yellow, so maybe one or two more hits is all I can take before I go get down into the yellow. Um, and then at that point I'm going to use some of my stereo strips. Um, let's see what we got here. Okay, so that Williams PPK is a five level five pistol. So let's go into the wiki and actually see if that is better than a beta tomcat, which I'm pretty sure it's a little bit better. Just about everything's better in a beta tomcat. Uh, if for no other reason, it will have more ammo capability or faster reloading, maybe. Uh, let's see, beta tomcat. It is the one directly under it. Nine rounds, yes. Uh, same damage, same everything, just holds a couple more rounds. So yeah, I think I'll use it instead of the beta. <clears throat> Fast reload speed, average firing speed, same. Average accuracy, same. High critical chance, same. Five pistol skills, same. Okay, yeah, so we'll trade that out for the beta on the inventory screen since I can use it non-transferable well not in the yard it isn't the yard everything's transferable in the yard scrap it yeah, yeah. okay so I have Four bags of candy. No, I only want two bags of candy and two dog biscuits. Yep, okay. So now we can sell, and that will probably be it for today. We didn't accomplish as much as I thought because apparently I, I am going to start having to go to a zone where there are red zombies. That's that's just all there is to it. I'm going to have to do that. Um, actually, it would be least on my list. Just because I am not a drinker. I like my sobriety. Okay, so we got an upgrade on the gun. It can hold a few more rounds. We have the pipe. We have a decently extensive bank account now, uh, which I am saving up to buy a shovel. And we will be getting there fairly quickly. <clears throat> we have over $3,000 at the moment. And so far so good. Still healthy, still nourished. I now have a little bit more inventory space, so I'm keeping uh, four food items at this point, just in case I'm in the city and need it and can't get back real quick. 
those will help out a lot. And for extended looting trips, we'll do that. Uh, which the next trip will be an extended looting trip. We are definitely going to go out and find us some red zones. But anyway, YouTube, uh, if you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you next time. Yeah!